Hello, and welcome to the Global Studies News Network. I'm your host, Chris Getchell. Our top story tonight. A local origami company was forced to close its doors. When asked for comment, a company spokesperson simply said, we simply had to fold. More at 11. And now today we're going to look at maps and map projections and different types of maps. But before we do that, let's look at a new show preview and for our fall lineup here on the GSNN network. Hello students, how are you today? It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. I think I'm going to change into some more comfortable clothes. Here's the closet. Ah, uh, yes. I've got one of my favorite sweaters to wear today. Ah, uh, mothballs. Let me take this jacket off. Oh, I, I seem to be, there we go. Ah, uh, here it is. Oh, how are you kids today? Are you enjoying yourself? It's beautiful outside. I think I might even slip into some slippers. We've got some right here. Ah, yes. Very comfortable. Well, let's get ready for a full day of... Oh, well, here we are. What a nice classroom. What a great place for learning. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> What's going on? Who's crying today? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I hear someone crying. Oh, my gosh. Well, look at everybody. It's it's Good King Friday's little brother, Prince Mediocre Monday. What's wrong, Prince Monday? Oh, Mr. R, I can't find my way home to the castle. I'm lost. Oh, well, finding your way home to the castle is easy. We could use an address or maybe even some coordinates. That's what's called absolute location. Absolute location? What's that? Absolute location. That is a point on the surface of the Earth that marks the intersection of exact coordinates. For example, 77 degrees north and 44 degrees east. Absolute location? Well, Prince Monday, some examples of absolute location are the use of, of GPS coordinates and maybe a smartphone. <laughs> oh no, that's not gonna work for you, is it? Mr. R, I don't have any of those things. How could I use latitude and longitude points when I don't have the equipment? <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, maybe, maybe we can use relative location. Relative location. That's the approximate location of a place on Earth. For example, I live 10 miles north of Stillwater, just east or right of Highway 95. It's really how we give directions. Well, Prince Monday, if you want, I could explain relative location and give you the relative location directions to the castle. Oh, Mr. I sure can. The, oh. Your castle is over the hill. Take a right next to the gas station. Once you're beyond the gas station, you'll see a park. After the park, there's a large water tower. 
Your castle is right behind the water tower. Oh, Mr. R, I think I know where that is. Yeah, do you know what we use to describe relative location? No, Mr. R, what do you use? We use landmarks and general directions like left and right. You could also use north and south, but most people, they don't know north and south, so they just say, go left, go right, look for this special landmark. That's oh. relative location. Oh, Mr. R, thank you so much. I'm gonna go home to the castle now. That was so helpful. Well, that's why we're here to be good neighbors. Thanks, Mr. R, see you later. Bye now. Well, that was relatively interesting. I hope you absolutely agree. And now, we have breaking news. It has just been announced that the first quiz of the year will be tomorrow. That's right, tomorrow. And it will be on the first two lessons that we've had so far during the first two weeks of school. That's right, the first two lessons. I know you know it. It'll be just fine. Don't panic, it's formative. Don't panic, it's formative, and you will do great. And that's all for today. Good day and good news.